Welcome everyone, my name is Signa and Mojang messed up big time. In 1.19, Mojang patched update suppression. Well, can you guess what I'm standing on? Yep, an update suppressor. To be honest, since Mojang patched update suppression, four new methods have been found. So this is not surprising. But the surprising thing about this method is that it only takes a shulk box. Well, sort of, you need some other things to start the process. I'll do a quick demo so you guys know that I'm not lying. As you can see, suppressor is working. Uh, we break this, doesn't break the portal. Uh, we break this, doesn't break the portal. And if we want to, like we can even replace it with a notebook, for example. And yeah, fully working. You can, I don't know, put a hole here. Yeah, and it's fully working. So. You might be wondering how this new method works. Well, if you see here, what looks like a shulk box. If I go here and get the data from the block. You see, it's actually a lectern. Before we continue, I want to say that this method was not found by me. It was found by Boyd. And basically how it works is that this comparator here when it checks what's in the shocker box, it will try to find an inventory and instead it will find the lectern. So the conflict between the lectern and the inventory that the comparator is looking for, it's what causes the error and what allows us to update suppress. Okay, but how do we get the lectern inside of the shocker box? Well, let me show you. You're gonna need your shocker box, a lectern, a book, and a comparator. You're also gonna need to use your suppressor so the way you do it is you place your lectern with your book, then you place your comparator, make sure it's there, flip the trapdoor, and the most difficult step, you break the lectern and you put the shock box and you're done. This is literally it. This is, this is how easy it is. If you go here and you look for the data, you can see it's a lectern. I know, I know. Using a suppressor to build a suppressor is sort of cheating. Like if you are in 1.18 and below, then you can probably use the normal suppressor to build this tiny one. But if you are in 1.19 and 1.20, then how are you even supposed to get this shock box? Like you don't even have suppression on the first place. If you have been following my videos, you will know that what I just said is not true. There is actually a way to use update suppression in 1.19 and 1.20. The method is just super sketchy and super tedious. But this is what we need to kickstart the update suppression revolution. You can think of it like a spark creating a flame. You can use the big method out of memory suppression to create the flame, which is this new shulker box suppression. If we use the out of memory suppression, to create the shaka box suppression, then we only have to do this once and we can have suppression in our entire server or survival world without having to worry about big and bulky setups. And the thing is getting even better because we can now use this flying machine to create out of memory suppression, which means no more pistons. Yeah, that's right. You don't have to place any pistons. Just AFK this machine for a while and boom, you have out of memory suppression as easy as it comes. The way that this machine works is by replacing the pistons with node blocks. We push the node blocks onto unloaded chunks and once they're there, we schedule them. We do what it's called a sync update and then we get them back to use later. This way we can create a lot of sync updates without placing that many node blocks. It is also important that the machine is between loaded and unloaded chunks. So if for example, you had a render distance of seven you will need to build this machine five blocks away from your personal flying machine, which will fold this one. With this method, you just need to AFK for a little bit the flying machine, and then you can use the shocker method to have fast and easy suppression forever. I also have to say that if you're not doing things right, it is really easy with this new method to crash your game or even lock you out of your server permanently. So be careful and check things twice. That's everything for today. I'll leave a work download on the description. If you need any instructions or help, you can go into my Discord. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great time.